Ellie here. So I wanted to talk about this amazing herb that I've been taking and I'm really excited about it. It's, it's been helping me so much. You know, I, uh, I had a, a, I was in a bad car accident when I was just right after I turned 18. So I've been on this journey of like healing my brain for many years. So like that accident where I got stitches in my, um, right here, um, plus like depression, years of major depression, it really has an effect on brain function. So I've been always like, you know, looking for natural things that I can take to increase brain power. So like memory, concentration, focus, mood, just general, you know, anything, if it's good for the brain, I'm going to try it. Um, and keeping it natural. So I have studied a lot of different uh, types of, um, you know, medicine traditions ranging from like Western um, herbalism to Chinese medicine and Ayurveda, which is in, in the system in India. And I last year in 2021, I was ordering some products from an Ayurvedic product website, which is where I got the oil pulling product, which I've mentioned before. And I also got like some really nice um, body oils, hair oil. Um, they have a great turmeric latte powder and just like a whole variety of products. And when I was browsing the single herbs on their website, I came across one called Shanka Pushpi, and I'm going to hold up uh, here for you to read it. And this, I, I was really intrigued because I had never heard of it before. And in the description, it said something about it being used in India for um, focus and brain power, how it is actually called the, like, the herb of intelligence. So... Of course I had to order some. They only had it available in a powder form. So when I first got it, I tried it out by mixing it in with water and I was pleasantly surprised. It actually has a really mild flavor. Um, you know, not something that would like turn me off from taking it every day. So I was mixing it in with some other ingredients like a hemp powder, and moringa, matcha, maca, I think spirulina. It got to be a lot. And then it didn't taste as good with all the other ingredients. And I kind of fell off of like taking it every day, but I definitely noticed some benefits from taking it. Like literally, I was like, holy shit, I just created herbal Adderall, like, because I combined it with like ma uh, matcha, which is a green tea, powdered green tea, and it's a natural source of caffeine. And then, oh, and then hemp juice powder, which is CBDA, the acidic cannabinoids are also really amazing for brain health. So I was just amazed. But, you know, as with anything in life, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? Like if you're not going to, if you don't take it every day or consistently, it probably will stop working. And that's what happened with me. I didn't, you know, I didn't feel like mixing up the powder every day and drinking it. So one day I, um, I had, I had ordered this capsule making machine. And so I created some capsules and I just, I reused an old bottle. This was actually, this is a great brand of, um, it was Lion's Mane capsules in here, which is another great herb to be taking for the brain. Amazing. And this is a, a wonderful brand, Wake. And just to let you know, um, they use the fruiting body. Really, really good quality. Highly recommend it. Anyway, I reused the container. Um, these are the, the capsules that I made, just, you know, regular capsules. I use the, um, this, so it's size one. There's different sizes. You can do bigger. I think this is actually the smallest size that they come in. 
but you can make them bigger if you want. So I have been incorporating them into my supplement routine, which nowadays is not that much, but I have been taking it consistently every day now, and I've definitely noticed a difference. So I'm kind of like in shock that it's not popular really, you know, like people talk a lot about lion's mane and, and um, like Tulsi's gotten pretty popular. Uh, maca and matcha are, are really popular as well. So, you know, it could be like the next up and coming uh, nootropic, but I just wanted to let you know, it's absolutely amazing. And if you're willing to make the capsules yourself, you know, you'll end up saving some money. But also, like I said, it actually has a pretty mild flavor. So if you don't mind um, just mixing it in with water or juice or in another um, drink mix, yeah, I, I would recommend checking it out. So anyway, hope you like this video. Let me know if you try it out and if you felt any benefits from it. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up, um, like and subscribe uh, to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.